Before electricity is ready for you to use at your home or business, it has been made at a power plant, transmitted long distances at a high level through the transmission system, run through a substation transformer where it's taken down to a lower level, and travel shorter distances through the distribution system to enter your home or business. So, exactly how does the electricity get from the pole or green box into your home? It travels to your home or business through a service drop. Now a service drop is generally a collection of three wires wrapped together. Two of the wires carry 120 volts of electricity each. The third wire is the neutral wire and a return path for electricity. If the service drop connects from the pole, it will run overhead to your home and connect to a weatherhead which is attached to your home. From there, the wires run down to the meter. If the service drop connects from the ground level transformer or green box, it will run underground to your meter. Electricity actually passes into your house through the meter. A meter is a box usually found on the side of your home and measures the amount of electricity that you use. It is owned by the power company. From the meter, the wires and electricity actually enter your home or building through a service panel that contains either circuit breakers or fuses. Your home or business owns the service panel and the wires inside. The service panel wires take electricity to different areas of your home. The circuit breakers or fuses protect your house from overloaded or damaged wires. At this point, electricity has arrived at your home to toast your bread or run your appliances. The electricity in your home is certainly at a lower and safer level than it was outside, but that doesn't mean it can't be dangerous too. Here are some important home safety tips to follow. If you are doing any painting or replacing siding on your house, remember to keep at least a 10-foot distance between you or any equipment you are using and any overhead wires or the service drop coming into your home. Do not ever attempt to remove your meter or the box which holds it. There are live wires behind the meter. In the event of a fire or other emergency, call the power company to safely turn off the electricity. Always have a certified electrician work on your service panel or circuit breakers. Turn off all circuit breakers before doing any electrical work. Don't overload your home circuits. Use surge protectors to help protect from any fluctuations in electricity. Don't use power tools or appliances with frayed or broken cords. Many older homes don't have the three-prong wall outlets. Never cut the third prong or ground off of a plug to make it usable in a two-prong outlet.